Hi everybody! Welcome to Rogue Atlas's third video. Tonight I'm going to be specifically talking about the club and nightlife in Berlin in comparison to the US. I hope that this is interesting for you guys. I think a lot of people come to Berlin to party, so let's get into it. I'm from Kentucky originally. I've lived in Berlin for three years now, and that's let me see all kinds of different things here, okay? So like what I'm used to in Kentucky is we don't really have clubs, like we have clubs kind of. Um, also, I'm from a big city in Kentucky, just to clarify. I feel like that makes a little bit of a difference. But anyways, we, yeah, we don't have very many dance clubs. There's a couple, they're kind of fun, but um, you know, most of the nightlife in the US is the bars close at two, which sucks. That's like so early. Like why did they ever think that was a good idea? In Louisville, they close at four. So we have it a little bit better than the rest of the US, but yeah, it's, it's the bar life. Like that's what it is. Like you go to your favorite bar, you go see your friends there. Everybody knows each other. Like, you know, there's regulars at certain places. You can kind of bar hop. Yeah, it's fun. Um, you know, in college and when I was younger, it was a lot of house parties. House parties now are kind of a rarity, but they are really cool when they happen. People should throw more house parties, do it. Anyways, um, those are cool to have like bands and stuff. I love beer pong. I am a beer pong champ. So, you know, the red solo cup thing, that's, it's my jam, I'm into it. Here in Germany, it's a lot different, especially in Berlin. Occasionally you'll see people playing beer pong at parties, but like not very often. And like, especially in Berlin, the club life is like what it is, like that's, end all be all, that's what people do. Like, you'll never hear people talking about the bars here. Although every time I've been to the bars, there's been a lot of people. So I don't know, that's kind of cool. But yeah, the, the clubs is really what it is. So there's a lot of different types of clubs here. You can do all kinds of things. But in Berlin, techno is king, like really. Americans think this is a joke. Like they really think that <laughs> techno is dead or whatever, but I am telling you, it is very alive and well here. And it is like what the people care about. Like people will wait two hours, three hours in line to get into their favorite clubs. They'll dress a certain way. Like it's crazy. But I will say the club life here is ridiculous. <laughs> like really, it's, it's so wild. I, I really can't even explain it to you. You're gonna have to experience it for yourself. But yeah, once you get into the clubs, a lot of them are secretive. You can't take either, you can't take your phone in or you have to put a sticker over your camera so that you can't like video it and everything. Cause they want to keep it like, you know, fresh and secretive for the other people that come so that they're, you know, surprised and amazed at what they see. Yeah, people are just really open-minded here. There's a lot of like gay clubs and there's fetish clubs and there's dance clubs and there's rock clubs. Um, there's clubs that have like performances and stuff. And like one time, for example, I went to a club that's just around the corner from my house. It's called Katra Blau. And I saw Claude Von Stroke there, which is one of my favorite house DJs, if you don't know who that is. Um, he's like pretty legendary. He has his own record label that's like very big. And normally in the US, I would probably pay, I don't know, like, $50, maybe a little bit more than that even, to go see him at a club for like, or to go see him, sorry, at a concert venue for like an hour. But here I got to see him for literally three hours or three and a half hours for 15 euros, guys. 15 euros, three and a half hours. It was so cool. Seriously, that was one of my favorite nights out here. You can just, it's, it's great. And the rest of Germany, they also have clubs that are open pretty late, but it's just not the same party scene. Like people always say Berlin is not Germany. And yeah, that's <laughs> kind of true. It's very different. Like it's a lot more open here and crazy. And yeah, it's, it's just awesome. There's just so many things you can do. And I really like both, but there's something to be said about clubs. Like really there is. And not like the, kind of shitty clubs that you would get in like Miami where it's like everyone is really frou-frou and needs to like wear high heels and everything. Oh, that's a good point also. Berliners, they're very like anti the norms on things. So like people don't wear heels to clubs. Like if you go to a club with heels on, they are going to tell you no. Like really, they will tell you to leave. Don't do it. <laughs> You need to just like dress like a normal person and pretty much act like you don't give a shit. And then that's usually when you get in. Don't be a stupid drunk idiot. They're not gonna let you in. 
Those are my two tips. No heels, no being a stupid drunk idiot. Should be easy enough, right? So another aspect outside of the clubs that's really cool for Berlin culture is the like street party culture here. One of the really big things in Berlin and I think in most of Germany, um, which is really one of my favorite things is that you can drink on the street. Like you can buy a bottle of wine, walk down the street with it and like slug it down and like that is legal. Like the police are not gonna do anything to you. That's fine, go for it. So anyways, there's like all these party days here for different occasions. There's one called Zug der Liebe, which is like um, basically like train of love. So it's again, like a street party, like people like follow floats and stuff and they're all playing music and everyone's dancing behind it and like dressed all crazy and stuff. And there's another one that's kind of for pride that's called Christopher Street Day, which is like Berlin's pride is massive. Like you can't even believe how huge it is. It's awesome. Goes all the way through the tier garden and like all the way around the city. And then also my personal favorite is May Day, which is well known for having like riots and protests in the past. So like, I don't know, people went kind of crazy. So the police are always like kind of on edge about that. But the main center for that is Gorlitzer Park. The way they have it now is like only a certain amount of people are allowed in before they like cut it off. But there's like concerts there the whole day. And yeah, just the whole city is basically like a crazy party and there's people like drinking and being really wild everywhere. and. There's like parties that go all the way through the night with all the clubs like after the daytime partying is over. And yeah, if you always wished you could go and drink out in the street and not have to be at Mardi Gras on Bourbon Street to do that, then Berlin is the place for you, my friend. That's pretty much all I've got to say for now. If you guys have further questions, I can go a little bit more in detail, but I think that's probably enough. And hopefully that was some interesting information for you and I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you for joining me here at Rogue Atlas. Be sure to click like and subscribe if you like my content. I would love to give you more information. I want to give you really detailed things that are off the normal beaten track. Please join me again next time. Thank you.